Welcome to Shovel Knight. So, I played this game some time ago, but I never actually managed to complete it. So, I'm going to try to do it again, this time on stream, clean all of it. So, the first few stages will probably go a lot faster than usual, but I feel like I need to just play this game from the beginning next time I do this. We were planning to do a Dark Souls playthrough, but Dark Souls started getting really weird on me. So, we have access now to the other um, story modes, but I'm going to start with Shovel of Hope, of course. I have not completed this one. And then, of course, I'm just going to go through the order. But we gotta start with Shovel of Hope. Alright. Always Tadpole. Alright. Body swap, enter body swap mode. The bodies of any characters in the main castle. Alright. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you can. I remember there was a whole theme with that. Alright. Whew. So let's do the story once more. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Oof. Spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Unfortunate, sometimes you end up like that. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Alright, so yeah, it's just always the nice little intro. It's shoveling time! So yeah, so basically what happened last time was it just took me a little while to figure out some mechanics that it didn't explain very thoroughly. So some these ones you can kind of get. You can get the little attack, the downward strike. Like, these ones made sense. There was just, like, a few other... Like, I'll show you when we get there later, but one of the things that made it hard for me to play this game the first time, it never told me that you could deflect projectiles with your shovel. And it wasn't until I faced Plague Knight and it becomes necessary for that fight that I learned it. And only after I died several times, so... That was one of my first little critiques of this. I'm wondering, so I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for where it would teach me where your shovel can deflect projectiles that I just managed to miss. So that's one of the things of analysis that I'm doing right now. But yeah, good little star stage, show you all the mechanics that you can bounce off feeds with your shovel. And since this is, I've been here for a while, these are checkpoints, but if you know what you're doing, you can break them open. I believe you can. Hmm. So, maybe not the first ones, because... Yeah, it would make sense that you can't do it with the first ones, but later on you can break those open and get gems. Apparently not on the first ones. That's good to know. Try to get used to all these flowy jobs, because while this is, like... One of the things is that this game is very much styled over those old era games, but it also has some of the flaws of the old era games. So I'm just checking how the controls feel, because you could easily just jump off cliffs not knowing what you're doing. All right. There's actually a glitch, I'm pretty sure you could ride those bubbles all the way to the next room above, even though it's supposed to be a while before you do that. But right here, the ability to throw the skeletons away and, like, actually use them as a weapon and such with something... Like, that's pretty... I feel like that's pretty well explained there, but... Hmm. But yeah, also, I need to keep an eye out for special locations like that. So there are certain areas that you could see a break, and it allows... Oh. Oh. 
But yeah, so basically I'm just kind of moving through this. Keep an eye on what's going on. You can see the little secret areas in some area and some over to the left there. I'm sure I'm going to miss. I'm sure I'm not going to get every secret area, but I'm going to try what I can. All right. So those little notes, um, they give you music and they give you um, they give you gold when you turn in the music. So good to collect those when you can. But that's not really the main secret I'm trying to grab. So that's a good little note, that while the enemies come back, the gold only applies once, so you can't just farm a single enemy for all the gold you desire. Alright, that thing's probably going to swoop down, and if it doesn't, I get that. Awesome. Oh, they, literally leaving the screen was enough for that thing to respawn. Didn't even move into a new area. Alright, good to know. some food. It's a little weird that the slimes, I get knocked back and not the slimes, but sure, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna check. So yeah, these don't break apparently, not the first ones. Okay. Whew. Have I played this before? Yes, but I never beat it, so I'm planning to start from scratch, basically. Um, so I was, as I stated, I was planning to do Dark Souls, but then Dark Souls started causing, I have no idea why, but Dark Souls was causing some serious issues. So right now I am have to move on to another game. So this is not a bad guy, game by any means, it's just, it's not Dark Souls. <laughs> How's it going, Suicude? How's it going? Glad to have you here. Whoop. So just moving through the area. I do like the mechanics of the bubbles, though I will say the bombless pits are definitely a painful mechanic for games to have. Like, I always hate insta-death mechanics unless it could be justified. I feel like a lot of the bombless pits are there because they didn't know what to put down there, and like, it could just be dealing damage and be alright. Oh. Oof. Like, I feel like insta-death traps is one of the things that did not have to be taken back from old era games. Ooh. Alright. All gold. Doing fine, I'm tired. Slept two hours longer than usual. Yep. Sometimes you just are tired, man. Sometimes you just, you're just tired. Right. Well, I don't think there's much of this stage left. I still can't handle the basic slime, it seems. All part of learning. All part of learning. But yeah, it's weird that I'm the one who gets knocked back instead of the slimes. I'm still adapting to that. Oof. Oh. So yeah, here... You have to be careful, because when this thing dies, um, you no longer have the hitbox, and you could just fall into that bottomless pit under it. So that's what actually happened to be the first time I played this. Alright, well. Always good tunes, though. Always good tunes. I'm not going to try and collect every ounce of gold, but I'm going to try to collect the gold I can. Alright, just, duh, use your grounded shovel as a weapon more often. That's a thing you do. Ooh. But yeah, there should be, from my experience, there should be enough gold to go around to get what you need to get, as long as you're not being foolish. As long as you're trying to get gold, you'll get all the gold you'll need. Alright, so I think this is the one where, nope, so one of these treasures, it might just be in the later stages, but one of them has a guy inside who gives you magic items, and since I have a full magic bar and nothing to spend it on, it's nice to get one of those. Oof. Anyways. <laughs> uh... 
Alright. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There is nothing here for you anymore. Set aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Can I just note? You both have shovels as your weapon. But one of you decides to call yourself the Shovel Knight. The other... Like, you could have both been the Shovel Knights. You could have been the Blue Knight and the Black Knight. Like, there was just... Someone did not come into agreement as to how they should do their naming convention. Your time away has dueled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! Oh. But yeah, right there. The fact that you can deflect projectiles is something that I didn't know until later on. Would have been nice to know earlier. Ooh. Oh, did I? I probably shot off Discord. My apologies for that pain. I'd rather not die on the first boss. But it looks like I'm going to be doing that anyways. Yep. Unfortunate. I'm going to just really quick take care of... There. Discord shut off. I thought I did that beforehand. I apologize. And another weird thing about this game is every time I move away from the screen... I end up, um, it shuts off all the music, the game entirely. But yeah, gotta learn how to time your shovel attacks with this guy. But yeah, knowing that you can deflect projectiles makes this, makes a lot of fights a lot easier. And that was something that I was dealing with the first time I played this game. Gosh. Why am I having so much trouble with the first boss? Alright. There we are. Alright, so I can start down striking on him. That's what they gotta do. Alright. So weird that... Like, I've be played this game before, and yet I'm still having trouble with the, the first boss, even. I feel like it's... Yeah, I feel like their shovel's just a bit longer than I'm expecting. And, like, definitely not knowing that the projectiles could be deflected the first time makes sense for the first time. But it's weird. It's like, yeah. It feels like I'm going to for a shovel attack, and then he just always beats me to it even when I do it at the same frame. Like, right there. Ugh. I'm doing I'm doing fine. Just I'm for some reason I'm having trouble with this boss right here. And it's the first boss, so it shouldn't be a boss you have trouble with, but nonetheless. Ah. There we are. Oof. It's right there. It's where he, like... Oof. There we are. So, yeah, I can't, like, get that... So, I have to do the downward strikes a lot more. Right there. Just like... I swear there was a range where I could have got hit and still could not have hit them. Is that little thing that I don't grasp fully. And so, the weird thing about these games is it's like if there's one little piece that you don't grasp fully, it's going to rear its ugly head every single time. 
and that's one of my issues that the first time I played this game. I felt like I was just beating my head against the wall because there were certain mechanics I just didn't understand. And it does look like that they didn't describe to you at any point during the tutorial section that your shovel deflects projectiles. Because that becomes very important later on. Oof. Oh. Not sure if that counts as catting her or not. Alright. I hope that counts as catching her, because... That's not where I expected that to go. Alright. Whew. So here, everyone, is the grin map. We'll be making sure to enter the village between each fight, but... Start there. Get you guys a sense of what this game plays like. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about, lady, with everyone swinging swords around. Oh, that's no weapon. That's just a shovel. You may enter, then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Everyone, how you doing, buddy? Turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. Very glad to know. If you didn't know you could restore life, that'd be very bad not to know. Alright. But this is just a nice little place. that they just teach you basically the mechanics, but then there's a few people sitting around which are kind of important. Hail, Traveler. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Oh, you have two music sheets! Magnificent! I'll take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. So, the rival? Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should have stayed calm. Should have studied composition, but then I suppose I'd be the one with a rival. Well, I have this. Alright. So, we can choose different songs. We'll just go with one of them. Things like this. Then we have the important stuff here. So this guy. Pot and poultry, much and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Breed a meal ticket. I'll whip up a feast. Go to the chin. And might have some. Now where's that sly beast? Literally standing below you. Hmm. So that person increases max health. And this person can increase your magic ma maximum magic. So you need to go down to Chester to go grab that stuff. Are you trying to explore all types of game possible live? So, I was trying to just do Dark Souls, but Dark Souls crashed, so this was my next game on the list. So, we just moved it forward quick earlier. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help me narrow my options? So yeah, I do like buying the meal tickets early on. So, we'll be buying at least two meal tickets. Oh, that's all my gold. Never mind. We'll be buying two meal tickets total. Two meal tickets. Hand them to me. A glorious feast awaits, you'll see. <clears throat> I'll desolate your palate in no time or less. A bon appetit a p and pardon the mess. Alright. Just like how it has those beautiful designs. Alright. Well, we don't have any money. Ah, new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome in here. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Ooh, woe is me. The king of nothing. Not to rule but my lone bar stool. Key Knight sits on my pride moor's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Double trouble. Soil trouble. My third eye knows your useless infos. The number of dig piles you've dug is seven. The amount of gold you've collected is six thousand. The number of times you've fallen in battle is three. The whole time you've spent adventuring is less than 20 minutes. I magically see all of your acts. Come back again for more useful facts. I'm not a witch! Alright, so then there's this person, which is a way to get money, I believe. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm standing here. Shall we pass the time with a little game? Just need 100 gold first. Alright, I'll conjure up some fiends. And you can hit them towards the targets for points, okay?
Try and get the 10 pointers whenever you can. Oop. Or is that three pointers? I can't really tell, honestly. Oop. Oop. Missed the valuable one. Right, let's see how I did. 203, it says. Well, color me impressed. And that's how you get a little more money. Alright. So we might actually have enough money to buy something here. That's good. Oof. Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the tra travel. Trowel. Alright, this guy's a jokester. Alright. Hello, Fisher friend, and all hail, hail the Triple King! Hail! <laughs> Get a fruit and fish, long may his stem grow! Alright, and you can buy these chalices if you have enough money, which are always nice. Psst, hey blue guy, you won't believe the merchandise I got for you today. Why not have a look? And... Yeah, unfortunately both of these I do not have the money for because I spent it all for health, which honestly I think was a good purchase. How's it going, Lambo Droid? Ooh. Never seen Shovel Knight? Alright. Well, it's a little pixelated game. Yeah, I'll, you'll be seeing as we play. You have two music sheets? Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Alright, so we see. Spin Ye Bottle. The client's only reaction was, oh, it's okay. I guess. Whatever. Sorry I was not brooding enough for you. Alright. So we have whatever music we can play. But yeah, this is basically. The best way to describe it is it's a... It's a lot like... Why can't I not think of the game right now? It's a lot like Mega Man, except instead of having the pistol shot, you have this little... You have this shovel that can deflect projectiles. Alright. I'm always going to buy the fishing rod first. Because... The fishing rod allows you to actually um, collect gold by um, sometimes fighting goldfish. But so I do want to try to get the chalices next. Oof. Yeah, if you love Mega Man games, you'll enjoy this one. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt! So yeah, you can always dig up dirt is a theme. Credible, you really are the Shovel Knight. And then, like, you can interact with certain people. So, like, this person wants to play, so you can actually kick off of this to play. And apparently if you get enough kicks in a row, something like special happens is what I've been told. I actually have not succeeded in that. Oh, right there. Be accomplished. Hooper. Hey! And then this person. These buckets are heavy. And one of the things is you can actually be a horrible person and use them as a stepping stool. But of course you need this stepping stool to get up here. Get that. And if I could find enough gold, is this enough? Nope. It's a hundred gold from enough. Oof. Because I want to buy one of those chalices, but I believe they're ten thousand. They're fifteen thousand. Shovel Knight, many trials await you, but don't despair. My each defeat strengthen your revol your resolve. All right. Well, I expect to lose a lot. Thank you for letting me know. But yeah, I'm gonna try to just get a little bit more gold to try buy one of those little chalices, and then. Hopefully with that chalice, I could, um, actually take advantage of it. Just one more music sheet. Having my music piped to do shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. That is, so yeah, that guy will always buy all your music so you can listen to music there, but as this is a playthrough, we're not going to be spending much time just staying around listening to music. But of course we'll be, have time to hail the Troop King. They're both 1500, unfortunately. Oh well. We finished off what we want to do in the shop. We have the resources we want. I'm not going to really spend uh, much gold on um, increasing magic, not just yet, but that will be a theme in the future. But for now, we'll be stopping there. We'll be jumping into the Keen Knight next. For those of you on YouTube, 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.